I've been wanting to have a Sunday reset. You know, one of those days when I clean my whole house and I feel accomplished. And I look around and I can finally see my floors and my counter and just feel like I did it and it's clean. Well, unfortunately, today's video is not about a whole house reset. It's mostly just about me getting through my bedroom and just tidying up real quick my kid's bedroom. Oh, and don't forget folding clothes, folding clothes, folding clothes. Yes, hello clothes. I have so much of them. I am in a decluttering journey. Uh, it's kind of slow, but I am mentally getting there. It's just... It's just really taking the time to declutter but at least my mind mindset is not like it used to be I am not just trying to buy and buy and buy because maybe this or maybe that now I am not really buying I'm just trying to get a little bit more organized and get on that journey not of minimalist because that's really far from what I am but in a journey where I can just feel a little bit more space in my in my life right now. I am folding clothes and folding clothes and folding clothes. It takes me a while, but also I do get interrupted sometimes here and there. And then it takes me even longer. Today it probably took me about five hours to finally get it over with my bedroom. And I didn't have the energy to start something else. Honestly, I was tired, I was still feeling sick and I just wanted to finish cleaning my bedroom because my bedroom 
for some reason today was in a chaotic state I mean I should have say you know it's, it's like that probably every day but I felt it especially today I guess because this is the room that I had decided I wanted to clean and then I wanted to go and say hi to my kids bedroom also and at least vacuum and fold their, their blanket. I don't think that having a clean house is not possible but I just think that having a lot of random things and also obviously having kids makes it uh, a lot harder so this is why I do want to get rid with I do want to get rid from a lot of stuff that I don't really use or need and also the kids toys there's a big difference when we put the kids toys away and you know leave just a few out they play with them but my house doesn't get covered in toys but in the country when we let them play with all the toys I can really feel a big difference and it's it's overwhelming because you're gonna feel like your house is always dirty but it's just because there's so much clutter everywhere
done for today I am not going to be cleaning anything else I am just going to try and maintain those two space clean and this is it it's not a failure it's just I guess survival mama mode It can't always be perfect, and in my case, it can really, <laughs> most of the time, I just have to struggle to try and keep the state of my house, um, you know, as clean as possible, but when I do that, I realize that I can't really do anything else, so I'm really just trying to learn how to balance and stay, um, you know, mentally healthy. So thank you for watching and I hope that you clean your house as well and that you feel energetic. So this is the kids bedroom. I am actually done. I am pretty much done for today. I am still feeling really sick. And I am so hot. And I am so tired and my throat is hurting. This is the state of my bedroom right now. I'm going to fold that blanket and pick up those toys and hope that it's going to stay like that until I go to sleep.